Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you are really well and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm starting this vlog on actually a really lovely sunny afternoon. When the sun is out, it just, oh, I just love it so much. It feels like it just makes everything better and my favourite kind of days are when it's like quite fresh and cool but the sun is out and it's so like the skies are blue and it's just fresh and crisp. I'm, I've got quite a chunky knit on and I'm actually very hot standing by this window. I've been doing a bit of shopping because I'm also going away to America at the end of the week. So I'll tell you more about that later. But I've been buying a few new bits to like add into my wardrobe. So yeah, there'll be outfit ideas, a bit of new in. And I just quickly need to show you what I've got on my lip. I've just come away from the window because that was very, very bright. Um, but on my lips, I've got the Clarins Lip Oil. And I hadn't tried it until now and it looks quite scary in there the color but let me sorry i'm holding the camera and holding the lip gloss but it's it's actually a lip oil it's got a really nice fat applicator and it's so <gasps> oh my god where i was holding the lip gloss bottle like in the hand that's holding the camera it dribbled out a, a tinted oil so moisturizing it's not sticky at all it just gives a really nice shine recently me and tom have been talking about like date night the date night thing and that we just don't do it enough but in the week we both have really busy days and then the last thing we both want to do in the evening is like get dressed up and go out and then come weekends we're usually busy doing stuff around the house or like seeing family and I don't know like time just goes so quickly and we just don't seem to do date night we, and we both love staying at home but you know we love a HelloFresh well this week we have chosen their premium meals so that it feels so that we can have a bit of a like date night at home feel like almost you know we're gonna make it a bit more like a restaurant but at home so the hello fresh premium meals are delicious so they're like premium cuts of meat and fish and they've got really like delicious size so i think what we're gonna do tonight for a little date night at home is this one we've got the pan fried sea bream creamy serrano gratin it's so delicious how good does that look so i can't wait we're going to make that and then a couple of the others we've got one of their ultimate ones which is another kind of premium dish that's the ultimate king prawn chorizo paella and we've also got cheesy chicken serrano ham parmigiana all sound absolutely delicious so i'm sure you're all familiar with hello fresh but basically you get everything delivered all the correct quantities of exact all exactly the they come in bags like this the number on the bag correlates to your recipe card you've got full details on the recipe card and in your bag it's everything you need to make the dish so there's no wastage and that's one of my favorite things about hello fresh there's no wastage but sometimes if we're making a really nice meal at home and it's got some random ingredients in you know the things you just don't have in your cupboard like we'll buy it use it for this one meal and then it goes to waste whereas when we make the hello fresh dinners like you've just got all the right quantities there's absolutely no wastage which is so nice also uh, it's just so nice not to have to think what are we going to do for dinner tonight it is sorted so yeah we are going to have a little date night at home with our premium meals uh, i'm also going to pop a little qr code somewhere on the screen where if you scan that and i will leave the link in the description below it will take you to the discount which is 60 percent off your first box and then 25 percent off your further eight boxes. That's a really nice big saving. So I'll leave all the details in the description. That time of the day. I have a can of Coke Zero every day. <laughs> In lockdown, it's actually getting up to like two cans, maybe three, but I've had to rein it in and just go for one can a day now. Sometimes it's either three o'clock, which is exactly now, because normally come three o'clock, that's where I'm starting to feel, I don't know, I just, it's such a nice little pick me up and the cold, refreshing, I don't know what it is. It just feels like such a treat this time of day. So I've been filming all morning and now this, filming this YouTube is my last like filming thing of the day. Now I've got so much mess to tidy up, editing, admin all that but after i finish filming it just feels like the nicest treat 
Mm. Right, and also, it's always Coke Zero. It's not full fat, it's not diet, it's Coke Zero. Let me know if you are also a Coke Zero person, because sometimes I meet people and then they're like, oh no, I'm a Diet Coke, and I think, mm, I don't know if we can be friends. It's got to be Coke Zero. Anyway so good so as i said earlier in the vlog um i have got some new bits to show you and i've been putting them in outfits and like seeing how they're gonna work with pieces i've already got in my wardrobe because i think all of us more than ever now are more conscious of what we're buying and i want to make sure if i'm gonna buy something that i'm really gonna get my wear from i feel like over the last couple of years where i've been just not buying for the sake of it basically it, I, I can see my wardrobe that i'm just re-wearing lots of similar things which is really good it means i feel like i've made a good purchase so with these things sometimes what i'll do is I, i'll buy them i will just keep them at home keep the tag on keep like playing around with them putting them in different outfits and if i'm like not 100 percent sure i won't wear it out and just see because maybe in a couple of weeks i might have gone off of it so i feel like i i never commit to something straight away I never it's so rare that something would arrive and i'd like rip the tag off it straight away and wear it out so rare that would happen i feel like i really like mull it over so i'm going to show you some new bits that i've picked up and styled like how i'm thinking of styling them also before we start i want to show you my new little bargain earrings these are 12 pounds well actually i think when i bought them they were 9.99 on amazon but you know sometimes the price changes and when i went to link them they were 12 um, 11.99 but i still think it's such a good bargain i don't know how long they're gonna not tarnish for but for 12 pound i think they look really nice and they're just like a nice little statement hoop also i've had an updated um date for my operation so i just can't remember if i told you the story of what happened before but a couple of months ago maybe i got a call from the hospital by the way if you don't know i've been waiting for surgery for an ovarian cyst and my endometriosis and i can never say this word i've got it written down one sec it's endometriosis and adenomyosis Ad yeah i hope i'm saying that right Adenomy adenomyosis so basically i've got both of those and large ovarian cysts that i've been waiting to have removed for years i got a date and then they cancelled it because they said they needed two consultants in the room and now i've got another date and i feel like it's happening it's friday the 13th of october and i just don't know how i feel about it being am i being like what's the word superstitious but i'm really not gonna like look into that so i am just trying to plan everything because i'm obviously not gonna be able to film for a little while and i've decided obviously that i've been doing my 30 days of autumn outfits so I'm just not sure where that's going to leave me with that. I'm going to try and film as much as I can in advance, but I'm just not going to be able to film everything ahead of time. So there might be a little break on that, but just stay tuned. I'll keep you updated on my Instagram, but let's get on with what I want to show you today. Okay, let's start with what I'm wearing. This gorgeous checked blazer. It's so nice. It's just a very fine check. And as you know, most of my wardrobe is, is quite neutral. It's quite plain. But I do like a little pop of print here and there. A check and a stripe are normally what I go for. And the colours in this check are like um, beige, black. Those kind of colours that are in my wardrobe. So I think that I'll actually be able to wear this in lots of different ways. I've already styled it in two different ways, which I'll put in the cutaways now. One with some wide leg blue jeans. These are from F&F &F at Tesco. They are the nicest wide leg jeans. The denim is so soft. You know, sometimes denim can feel really rigid and uncomfortable. These are so soft. Ugh, I want to know the exact like name of these. I don't think that they've actually got a name, but they're just the wide leg jeans from F and F. So I really love it styled there with the Birkenstock Bostons and the white t-shirt. It's a really nice like laid back style and then i've also styled it with some black wide leg trousers again the white t-shirt but i actually styled this up as like what i would wear to the office so a bit more of a formal style and i'm really looking forward to putting like a big chunky scarf over it as we get into the cooler months and i yeah i really love it it's i'm wearing a size small it's it comes quite oversized and you know i like my blazers oversized and actually i tried on the small and the medium because 
I like it oversized, but the medium was actually way too oversized. I don't think you need to size up on it because it is quite generous on the sizing. Okay, I'm not going to do these in any particular order. I've just got everything next to me and I'm just going to grab whatever comes up. So next up is this cropped grey jacket from H&M. So grey is going to be a big popular colour as we go into winter and I really love the grey trend actually. It's really wearable and I really like it. So there's actually a grey jacket similar to this but slightly a lighter grey with a zip from Zara that has been out of stock but I keep checking all the time and that's the one I actually do want but I saw this in store because this is sold out online well it was when I last looked but I'll still link it save the link and then you can keep checking for the stock to come back in so when I saw this I thought well that's a nice alternative but I'm, I'm gonna wait for the Zara one and then this is like a backup one but this one is actually really nice and I've styled it here with the Abercrombie wide leg trousers and oh it looks so nice with a wide leg trouser I think it being the cropped length as well is actually really flattering and I've also styled it here with white tee and off-white jeans and again I really like it with that so again just playing around with like different styling ideas of how I'm gonna wear it but I really like that this is in a size medium I actually found this in store and I just bought it because it was sold out online but actually this is quite oversized i think a small might be better so again not going to take the tag out of that one i'm going to hold on to that for now and see if i can either get the small in this size or the zara one right let's talk cozy and i feel like i'm quite a cozy queen i love being cozy and just like comfy clothes and being at home and this set is so lovely i feel like they did something like this last year or the year before i feel like it's quite h&m of them it's these knitted trousers they're really flattering actually when i was looking back at the video they're just like hang so nicely on your legs because they're quite fitted on the leg but then they've got like a wider flare at the bottom and i think they just like sit really flattering on your leg they're high-waisted they're really soft and then it has a matching cardigan as well which is so nice but the thing is is with a matching set i always feel a bit more put together and nice but you're still really cozy so sometimes for example like i might go around to my mum's house on a sunday for a roast and i go around looking like i've been dragged through a hedge backwards i basically go around i don't wear my pajamas but i wear like the most the comfiest but ugliest clothes ever i have this greasy hair slapped back and never any makeup but this i could wear this and feel a little bit nicer this is still like super comfy and cozy but it just makes me feel a little bit nicer actually yes i'm definitely gonna keep this one and i'm gonna keep an eye out for a couple of other like nice matching knitted sets because they're just so nice to wear casually you can pop them on with like trainers or uggs or something just for a really like comfy laid-back look but because it's matching you still kind of feel a bit more put together this set actually came in a lighter color as well and do you know what I'm really annoyed at H&M because I had it all in my basket I think I saw it like as soon as it came online so I put it all in my basket online checked out and you know when you're checking out online and then your internet banking opens for you to authorize the purchase i did all of that i thought it all went through and then a couple of days later i went back to the h&m app to have a look at something else and everything was still in my basket and it hadn't gone through and then some items were out of stock including the trousers to match this cardigan so right now every day i'm on the h&m website checking for stock of uh these trousers but in the cream so i did try on the small and medium trousers and the small do fit better um i'm a size 10 i would say like i'm quite a, a solid 10 on trousers and the small fitted nicely so that's just um like reference on the sizing and they are quite stretchy as well right let's move on to something that's not so cozy i've been obsessed with satin skirts all year do you remember the cream one i've worn to death this year i actually bought it when we went to dubai back in february or march and i've just worn that skirt all year i actually want to order a new one because it's quite snagged i think the material just catches on things and where i've just worn it so much it's just it has worn quite a lot i find them so easy to wear and i really love them so i've bought a couple of other colors this is a gold one look at that color Do you know what? it's actually coming up 
really gold on camera but in real life it's almost got like an undertone of like khaki in there but on camera it's looking super gold my favorite ones actually the river island ones i think they're really nice and i've styled this skirt here with a chunky jumper because in the spring and summer i think we were styling them a lot more oh sorry i've got like a little frog in my throat styling them more with like little tank tops and vest tops and things but in the winter, I actually much prefer to style them with a big, chunky, oversized jumper. And the other day when I was wearing a skirt like this, somebody messaged and said, I wish I could wear it, but I just feel too conscious of my tummy. So do I. In the summer, I was wearing like the tightest control pants ever and I still didn't feel like I was still conscious of my tummy in them and if you've watched my YouTube videos for a while like that's always been like my most self-conscious areas like my tummy but what I'm loving in the winter is just put a big chunky jumper you don't have to tuck it in just wear it over I think it looks really nice and then you don't have to worry about any lumps or bumps it's all like covered so I really hope that if you've wanted to try it like throughout the year and have felt a bit self-conscious try it now with a chunky jumper and I really hope that you like that because that's I'm feeling a lot more confident wearing it that way so give that a go as I said River Island have been so nice for the skirts also I've had another skirt for a little while. I'll pop a picture of it in here. It's the dark green khaki one that I've had for a while, but I just haven't shown it on YouTube. I've been wearing it loads in real life and on Instagram. I just haven't shown it on here, but it's in the wash at the moment. That one is from Arquette and it is stunning. Like it fits so lovely and the fabric is gorgeous. But just like on a price difference, like the River Island ones are 30 pounds and the Arquette one was, I think it was 90 pounds. So it's considerably more. I do think the fit is better on this one it's just got a very thin hem which just kind of sits there but on the Arquette one it's got a thicker hem with an elasticated band and it does it does fit better and it does feel better in the quality however these River Island ones are lovely and I'm still loving these so it just kind of depends on what you want to buy and the colour you want and what's available so I'll link both down below but yeah I hope that helps right and then a couple of other bits I got this knit from H&M and it's so soft in my last little haul that I did some of the chunky jumpers I'd bought from H&M were a little bit itchy. I love the jumpers, but the itchiness it does annoy me a bit. But this one is so soft. And also, this is slightly cropped. And I absolutely love the length of it. I've styled it here again with those Abercrombie trousers. I just love them so much. Also, you don't need to iron them after they've been washed. And they don't crease, which is literally a lifesaver. I think this colour is sold out. But I'll still link them below because they've got loads of other colours available and they're just the nicest trousers ever. And this just fits so nicely with those trousers. The length of it is just perfect. If you don't like a lot of material, like you know when you're trying to tuck it in, it just feels like there's so much fabric. This is lovely because it's cropped and it just sits at such a perfect length. This was from H&M, I don't know if I said, and that is in a size small. And then the final thing, and then the final thing to show you is a bomber jacket. So you know those viral ones that Zara did last year? the beginning of the year and earlier this year a lot of other shops have bought out very similar ones so this one is from river island and i really love the color it's like a stony beige color it's a very similar fit to the zara ones it's got the big shoulder pads it's got this fabric collar and then the buttons that just blend in really seamlessly it is lovely and i've styled it here with just quickly and simply with white jeans and a white t-shirt i love it but i have got two zara bomber jackets i've got the white and the black do i need a third i'm not sure but i really like it so this one i'm like not i love it and i actually think it looks really nice on yeah what do you think about this one i do like it but do i need another bomber jacket i'm not sure whilst we're talking about river island i picked up a suit from river island and i just don't know on camera it looks really brown but in real life it's a much it's much more greener that is so weird but yeah you can see it's styled here i think it's such a nice fit i just styled it very like relaxed with a white t-shirt and some adidas trainers and i really like it the trousers are really flowy and 
they've got a lovely wide leg and also another thing that i love on the back of the trousers they've got an elasticated waistband which always just makes trousers that bit more comfortable i love a matching set you can wear this with trainers you could wear it with some little ballet pumps to the office i think it's really versatile and yeah i really really like it the only thing is i've been used to a little bit more structure in blazers whereas can you see this is it's just a bit floppy i do like a bit more something in a blazer it is really nice i really liked it on but i'm just not 100 percent sure yet if it just had a little bit more like there is a little bit of structure in the shoulder but not much at all i think if it just had a little bit more i would prefer it. i know that's just completely personal preference not everybody likes like shoulder pads and like structured blazers but I do really like it and actually I think it looks really nice. So that one is a maybe. And then the final thing to show you is a pair of black trousers. So you know my white trousers that I've got from M&S that I do wear all the time. And sadly they just never restocked. I bought them back like late spring and I really have worn them so much. Well they've bought out, or they haven't just bought out. I think they've been available for a while. But I've just got the black version. And... They've got this big buckle here, which I love. They have such a lovely trouser. These are another pair that don't need ironing and they don't crease, which is amazing. It really is such a game changer. I actually am wearing the short leg here because I like them a little bit more cropped. They're kind of a wide leg, but they're kind of a straight leg. They're like a, a straight wide leg. As I said, I'm wearing the short length because I like them a little bit more cropped. They have got like a rolled up seam already at the bottom. I did try the regular length and they sat more nearer the floor, but I just like them a little bit cropped in this style. So yeah, if you work in an office or you know attend a lot of meetings and need a really nice pair of black trousers i just couldn't recommend these anymore no ironing no creasing they're really flattering fit as i was saying at the beginning of the vlog um i'm going to america this week so when you watch this video i will be in texas i've been to new york and i've been to florida but I've never been to any other states. So I'm going to Texas and we're staying in Dallas. Um, I'm going for five nights. It's a fairly short trip and, and I feel really, oh, honestly, it was like when they sent the email, I honestly was like, are you sure this has been sent to the right person? Um, I'm going with Reward Style, I like to know it, um, who are the affiliate company. Their head office is in Dallas and every year they have something called uh, Like to Know It, the conference. So I've actually met the founder, Amber, before and she's really like inspiring and amazing and I'm so excited. Um, yeah, and I just feel really honored, honored to be going. Uh, so yeah, when you watch this, I will be in Texas. I'll be posting like daily on my Instagram of what we're up to and stuff. So. Um, make sure you're following me over there. But as always, thank you so, so much for taking your time to watch today's video. Um, as always, everything that I have shown you today will be linked down below. If you are a regular viewer but don't actually subscribe to my channel, it would mean so much if you could just hit the subscribe button. Thank you again, everyone. Send in so much love and I'll see you next week. Bye.